everyone and assalamu alaikum this is introduction to psychology part 2 by dear knowledge okay so we have started the chapter 2 which is all about learning if i give you a quick chapter overview and a quick recap of what we have learned so far so in the lesson 1 we learn about definition of learning and in definition of learning, we started with a case study in order to clear our concepts. Then, with the reference of that case study, we carry out we carried out the uh, lesson one, which was about the definition of learning. Then we learn about the definition, a proper definition of learning, and then we discuss about each and every single word of that definition of learning. Then after that, we come to the chapter two, uh, uh, no, uh, the lesson two of the chapter two, which is about the type of learning. And the types of learning, we also learn about the classical conditioning. So classical conditioning was basically the part one of the lesson two. And in classical conditioning, we learn about the Ivan Pavlov and his experiments with dogs. And how does he came up with the concept of classical conditioning? And we also learn about the different elements of the classical conditioning. And in the end, we also learn about the basic principles of the classical conditioning. So if you have missed any of the previous lecture, I've given all the links in the description section. Go ahead, click on those links and watch those videos. And if any of the link is missing, you can ask me in the comment section. And I will update the description section for your ease. So... This is going to be the chapter 2, which is learning, and the lesson 2, which is types of learning. And this is going to be the part 1a, which is going to be the stimulus generalization and stimulus discrimination. So in this video, we will learn about the stimulus generalization and stimulus discrimination in the classical conditioning. So let's start with stimulus generalization. So if you talk about the generalization and discrimination, so Pavlov did find that the similar sounding bells would produce the same conditioned response from his dogs. So he and other researchers found that the strength of the same or the strength of the response to the similar bells uh, was not as strong as to the original one. But the more similar this other uh, bell tune was to the original bell tune, the more similar the strength of the response was as well. So the tendency to response to a stimulus that is only similar to the original condition stimulus is called stimulus generalization. And if you talk about the proper definition of a stimulus generalization, so it is the tendency to respond to a stimulus that is only similar to the original condition stimulus with the conditioned response. And if I make it more simpler, so stimulus generalization is basically a stimulus that is similar to a conditioned stimulus. Now, for example, a person who reacts with anxiety to the sound of a dentist drill might react some slight anxiety to a similar, uh, to similar sounding machine. So, a person who is uh, who reacts with anxiety uh, to the sound of a dentist drill, that person might show some slight anxiety to a similar sounding machine. Uh, for example, it. Let me give you an example of an electric coffee grinder or any other machine which makes the similar sound just like a dentist drill. Now, of course, Pavlov did not give the dogs any food after the similar sound. They only got food following the correct stimulus or correct conditioned stimulus. So it didn't take long for the dogs to stop responding or generalizing to or generalizing to the fake bell sounds altogether because uh, the conditioned stimulus was followed with the food. So they learned to tell the difference or discriminate between the fake bells and the real one, which is the process called stimulus discrimination. 
No, stimulus discrimination is basically the tendency to stop making a generalized response to a stimulus that is similar to the original conditioned stimulus because the similar stimulus is never paired with the unconditioned stimulus. Now, stimulus discrimination occurs when an organism learns to respond to a different stimuli in different ways. Now, for example, although the sound of the coffee grinder might produce little anxiety in the dentist uh, or dental drill heading person, but after a few uses, that person will no longer produce anxiety because it isn't associated with the dental pain. So, in a nutshell, if I give you a quick summary, uh, stimulus generalization is basically the stimulus that is similar to a conditioned stimulus. For example, a person is can uh, give a conditioned response to a conditioned stimulus, and if that person or that organism found the same conditioned stimulus or the, a stimulus that is same to the conditioned stimulus, that person or that organism will give the same response. Although it will gonna, it will be a bit weaker one, but the person or the organism will give the same response. So that is sim stimulus generalization. You generalize the stimulus. Then there comes a stimulus discrimination. And in the concept of stimulus discrimination, you learn to differentiate between a fixed stimulus and a conditioned stimulus. You learn that my conditioned response um, is to this conditioned stimulus, not that one. That stimulus might be same to the conditioned stimulus, but that stimulus is not a conditioned stimulus. So the organism learned to differentiate between a fake one and the real one. The real one means a conditioned stimulus. So this is going to be a stimulus discrimination. And whereas in stimulus generalization, you generalize it. Okay, so this was all about today's video. If your concept is clear, you can like us, you can like our video. And if there was any point which was a bit confusing, you did not get it, you can ask me in the comment section and we'll be happy to help you out. And if you're new to this channel, you can also subscribe to our channel, click on the bell icon so you will never ever miss any notification. And you can also share the link of this video, the link of our channel with your family members and friends because sharing is caring until then Allah Hafiz